What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. It's Connery from Out of Work. Today I'm going to do a little review on this truck behind me. It's the official Out of Work truck. 2019 TRD Tacoma. Alright, there's the truck. Mid sized truck. This is the uh, one year review before it gets too cold. So, uh, past weekend we had a winter blast, and today's probably the nice, the last nice weekend before everything goes south on us. I'm in Oklahoma, of course. Alright, so what it is is a 2019 uh, TRD. Not the TRD Pro, just the TRD Off-Road. There's a reason for that. Um, I could have afforded the Pro, but I wanted the TRD. And the easy answer to that is, the, if you look at the price difference between the TRD and the TRD Pro, which is almost maybe seven, eight thousand dollars difference, you could get the same accessories that, I've, that I have got. And I didn't go cheap on my accessories either. I went, uh, I wouldn't say top of the line, but definitely, uh, OEM quality or better and I bought it the brands that I liked okay so I'll show you guys what I did so instead of the TRD Pro we got the TRD off-road 4x4 double cab V6 I think the tow package came standard on it but that's it <laughs> oh yeah and most importantly let me show you this yeah it's a six-speed manual. Six-speed manual. Six-speed manual. You know, had to order that. Just about nobody, none of the dealerships had it in stock. So if you want a manual, you gotta order it. And then I put, as soon as I bought it, wheels and tire package. These are uh, the Vokes uh, 16 My Eat Dash Zero. Also rocking the 285 75 16. KO2s with the stock suspension. I haven't upgraded the suspension yet. Uh, it does rub a little bit. We turn the quarter turn will rub right there, just a little bit. All you gotta do is just trim a couple pieces off, and the, it'll help quite a bit. But it still rubs. And the only other thing I did was change out the chrome grill back to the good old black. I'm a big fan of the black. Uh, not a fan of chrome at all. I didn't like it. I think the marketing behind that is wrong. Uh, so back to the SR grill. And the SR grill is black. And it matches the chin, which is also black. So it almost seems like that's that's what should have came on the TRD model. TRD Pro comes with a completely new grill. Completely different. Actually looks really good, TRD Pro. Okay, but the reason why I didn't buy the TRD Pro, went with the TRD, I'll explain why. All these accessories I just talked about, the wheel, the tire packages. Oh, forgot about that. Got an ARE topper as well. This is the Z Series line. Pretty much the best topper you can get. Best topper you can get. Uh, quality and everything. And it matches the truck perfect. It's like they designed it for this truck. Okay. So, let me just say, could have bought a TRD Pro, but the difference between a TRD Pro and the TRD Off-Road is just cosmetics, is what I what I would call it. It's mainly cosmetics. All right, the suspension is different, but if you get a Pro and you're somewhat serious about the Off-Road world, you're going to replace that stuff anyways. So for me, TRD Off-Road was probably the best option. Uh, all the other options don't even consider because it doesn't come with a locking diff and it may or may not come with a manual transmission which is number one on my list that I wanted so I bought the truck as soon as I got it oh I put it this way um, had to order the truck okay so 
I had to go order the truck because it was a manual transmission and I ordered it with uh, with nothing on it, none of the options. I told the sales guy if it didn't come standard on it, he didn't want it. So I walked out the door, $34,000 plus tax, okay, so plus tag and tax. So all in all, $34,000 out the door for a 2019 double cab V6 manual transmission. Okay, that's what I wanted because uh, that provided me with a real good base on what I want to do. And this was the look I had that I wanted uh, in my mind before I even talked to the uh, dealerships. So I wanted these, well first off, I come from a kind of racing background. Why she, like, let me rephrase that. I love the racing sports. So that's where, uh, in terms of cars, trucks, you know, I like them to look sporty. So when uh, when Vokes announced that they have these wheels, one of my favorite wheels of all time, available for a Tacoma, I instantly said, you know, if I'm buying a Tacoma, I want those wheels on it. Okay, that's it. And then as for the cap, my dad has a cap on his Tacoma, 2005. And at first I didn't like it, but then I just fell in love with it. So I said to myself, I wanted wheels and wanted a cap within months of buying a new truck. So if you look at that and you look at the difference between TRD and TRD Pro, that $7,000 difference in the prices, it gets you exactly what you want. So for, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying it's cheap. Tire package and cap will run you about seven thousand dollars okay i'm not it's not even joking uh, i think the tire package is about three thousand and the cap was 28 so you're looking six thousand dollars right there um but that's what i wanted you know my budget was forty thousand dollars and i walked away forty thousand dollars this is the truck been living with it for about a year now um i put a lot of miles on this truck too all right i do a lot of stuff with this truck so I tow boats with it, uh, we're avid kayak anglers, we go to the farm, so uh, it goes back and forth to the farm whenever it needs farm duties. Um, right here we're at a state park, um, very comfortable off-road, uh, it's perfect, perfect conditions today for fishing, so I'm going to have to go fishing a bit, but anyways, for the guys that are watching this, if you don't know, uh, if you're new to the channel, we are based out of Oklahoma do a lot of fishing uh, we're basically primarily a fishing channel and we had a Honda Civic before and Honda Civic was just pushed beyond its limits and it never failed too which was ridiculously uh, good but um, it was time to upgrade and we've been borrowing my dad's truck for the last couple weeks and then my brother used to have a truck too Tacomas Tacomas and more Tacomas so it was just in line for me to, to buy a Tacoma and when it came time I, I wanted a Tacoma Actually, I want a Honda, but Honda kind of dicked up that mo that latest release, and so came back to the Tacoma. We ended up buying the Tacoma. Let me give you a couple things on this truck that uh, maybe the other reviewers didn't cover. Okay, so the truck looks really good um, in stock form. It's got a good stance already. Just you just got to give it nice tires. Uh, like I said, I'm on 285s. And the wheel specs are the same as the OEMs. And it rubs a little bit in the front. There's no rub in the back. But if you go, if you don't want no rub at all, go with a 275, it's perfect. Uh, stock comes with 265s, which is decent already, okay? But, you know, for me, I wanted this look. That's what I was going to get. I said I wanted the biggest tires I can fit under there without too much rubbing issues. So 285 is the way to go. If you go with a different spec wheel, it might rub more. That's what I've heard at least. Um, in terms of engine performance, um, I'll tell you what, the engine, it behaves like a Honda motor. Uh, there's almost no torque on the bottom end, and if you want power, you got to rev it beyond 3,500. From 35 to 4,000, that's where the power code kicks in. 4,000 and up, it is a totally different animal. And for the guys that are driving automatics, I don't know how you guys deal with that, because the automatic wants to always save gas because this is what this program is programmed for so it always wants to go to the next gear and for the boys like i uh the manual transmissions we can we can hold it in that gear and gets it gives you really good power and speaking of power uh 
it's the same engine as Toyota's or a Lexus engine and for some reason in the Lexus it has 307 horsepower but they took that same engine they put it in a truck and somehow it lost 25 horsepower so I don't know what's up with that Toyota kind of short shafted us on that one um, yeah we'll look it up I'm not lying not lying at all so you can look inside the, uh, the car here so inside the car we got our weather techs yeah so basically when I said I didn't you know told the dealership don't give me anything if it didn't come standard floor mats were not standard okay floor mats are not standard on your Tacoma it doesn't matter spend that money on some legit floor mats and I wasn't kidding see 22 22,000 miles hasn't even been a year yet not even a year yet uh, quick rundown this system it sucks this system is not worth your money it came standard on the TRD and I still don't like it I asked the sales guy can he take it out and just give me the basic unit because I was gonna I'm a car I'm an audio guy so I was gonna wall swap it out anyways and he's like no I can't do it <laughs> come standard with it uh, this does not come with a uh, tech package so there's no sunroof which is exactly what I wanted didn't want a sunroof couldn't care less about it. okay so uh, primarily and a uh, I wanted a truck that was gonna last a long time so I wanted the least amount of options as possible um, like I said the best feature about this truck manual transmission and that's not a standard that's not a standard knob either that's an actual TRD knob I don't know why they don't give you this on TRD model that's something that's really 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 bugging me you know something as small as that they'll give you a different shift knob but, uh, but I think everybody wants this shift knob uh, standard steering wheel as the generation before it nothing has changed there I think the seats pretty much stay the same too. The major difference is the redesign of the console. It is a much more up-to-date console system or look. But at the same time, I think since this is more squared out, it makes the cabin feel a little bit, makes it feel a little bit uh, claustrophobic, put it that way, compared to the generation before it. But I do like the look. The look looks really good. I do like the Tacoma nameplate right there i do like everything about this i do like all that the only thing i don't like is uh they don't give you two cigarette plugs so i was forced to get an adapter there's plenty of expansion bays here um they give you this wireless charging cell phone charger which i don't know why they did you know i really don't know why they did because you know i don't think anybody uses it I want to give you that but this is something new that came standard this is the uh, defogger for the uh, side mirrors that's pretty legit I didn't think I was ever gonna need it because I live in the mid-south but uh, ended up using it a couple times pretty cool and as for the back seats yep back seats oh. That's already kind of worn off. Back seats are cool. They have nice storage. Kind of like that. Stuff in here. Emergency stuff. So I've already put jumper cables, things like that in here. That's cool. You can probably fit a small rifle in here too if you want. Yeah, I said it. A rifle. And then, you know, my backup uh, rain jacket for fishing. So that's that. And uh, that's the cabin. So, Toyota did do some pretty cool things. Since this is a manual, I still get a key, and my key is a standard key. It's nothing special. So, yep, yeah, standard key. No wireless, nothing like that. But they did do a lot of improvements in terms of uh, wind noise, because one of the major problems is wind noise in the Gen 2. They put a rubber seal right there, so all the wind goes across big deal they also put styrofoam in the fenders in here the entire way up the fender I don't know if you guys can see that or not but that 
gray that was down there, right there. That didn't exist before. At least I didn't notice. The other thing is this. So this is rubber piece right here. This rubber piece. That wasn't there before either. The Gen 3, the Gen 2s. So they did listen to a lot of people in terms of noise complaints and stuff like that. Because I know my dad's truck, even my brother's truck, he had a 2013. Uh, there was like a certain mile per hour you get up to and you get this whistling sound. It came off the uh, windshield. And they think they changed all that too because it just looks like this windshield. This trim right here, it's a little more different. And they were talking about these vectors, wind vectoring things, or vortex generators, whatever you want to call them. It's a little different, and yeah, that's thumbs up, big thumbs up for that. And the power sliding rear window, that was one thing that I didn't think I would have need, but actually turned out pretty useful. So, came stock on the TRD as well. I think my dad's had a... Uh, my dad's was SR5 and it didn't have it. I can't remember if my brother's 2013 TRD came with it or not, but if you know, you know, let me know. Uh, thing I do miss about it is see how there's a handle on that side? Let me zoom in all that. That handle? It's no longer available. We don't have it here. Kind of miss it. Second generation's had that. Actually, I actually like that. I, I kind of wanted a handle. Uh, lights, pretty much stayed the same. Like I said, this generation had a sunroof option, but I opted for not having it. Guys, this is one thing that, those little things that kind of messes with this. I'm a, you know, me, I'm a driver. I'm, a, I'm just not a, a driver, but I'm a driver. You know what I mean? So we like to drive our cars. We like things set up properly for us, catered for us. But why is this clutch pedal about an inch further than the brake pedal? And another brake pedal is a further inch farther than the gas pedal. Hmm. Somebody explain that to me. Okay. And why is the clutch pedal made out of plastic? I don't understand that. The other two are made out of metal. The clutch pedal is made out of plastic. I don't know about that. That's probably going to fail. <laughs> I mean, the good thing is, okay, well, the crazy part is, this clutch is actually real, real soft. Uh, compared to my Honda Civic, which was pretty soft already, this was even softer. So it doesn't even feel like a standard car. It's almost as soft as the gas pedal. Okay, that's pretty that's pretty crazy how Toyota can do that. But yeah, very, very soft clutch. I had a lot of friends drive it and they're like, dude, is something wrong with your clutch pedal? And it's like, no. No, it's like that. You're thinking, okay, if you get a TRD model, it's like three models in front or above the base model, right? And you're thinking, oh cool, they gave me black fenders. Actually, they just decided not to paint them. Okay, that's the crazy part. Okay, so maybe it gets a little bit scratched up, but you can at least paint it black. Because my understanding of these colors is, you know, over time, this plastic, when it's new, it's it's dark. But give it five years, it's going to get gray. It's the ugliest thing on these trucks or any car. So why Toyota didn't paint that black? Why they didn't paint it black and they charged you extra? I, that, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I, I got robbed. <laughs> so, they didn't paint that, but maybe they gave you fog lights, right? I don't know. And the other thing was, it looks like an LED headlight, but it's not. It's just halogen. That's halogen, that's halogen. $34,000 and still no LED headlights. It's a little on the disappointing side. But on the flip side, on the rear end. I do like the tail lights. I love these tail lights. I like this red too. I don't like the TRD Pro dark, dark red. I like that, that's perfect. Let's go for a driving impression on the Tacoma. So Tacoma, for me, the driving impression, if it's not an automatic, it's 
shouldn't buy it. Some people tell you that, you know, but for me, it's the opposite. I want the manual. I'll do almost, I'll do almost anything for the manual because the manual, like I said, I'm just, I'm a, I, I'm a driver. I like to drive cars. I like to, I like to keep them in the power band, right? Uh, or I like to, I like the way the cars behave under under certain conditions and you can't do that unless if you have a manual transmission so the reason for, what i mean by that is the cars have a lot of character a car that as you drive it and you don't shift or you shift or power shift or anything like that uh it does certain things that you know uh, it brings the excitement levels up on a car automatics just don't do that they can't do that it's impossible for you to drive an automatic with, without a lot of involvement uh, without a lot of doing weird stupid shit to it to get it to do the things and a manual is naturally good at let's drive it let's drive it the way we're supposed to drive it we're in first gear chirp second hit the limiter on second gear and we're at 60, a little bit over 60 miles per hour. So, yep, it can still, the, tr the truck can go. The truck can go. But like I said, a lot, the driving experience of this truck is if you want to drive it fast, it's got to be in the upper ranges. Any of the power is all in the upper ranges. And there's almost nothing below 3,000 RPM, which is a weird. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know what happened to the extra 25 horsepower that we lost when they took the engine from a car and they stuck it in a truck. So, I don't know why. I mean, it's a high compression engine and it should make more power than this. But it's currently not. So, right, so let's just do that pull it one more time. We launch it like a truck. Yeah, you know, you can do that in a truck. It's fun to drive. That's why you have a manual transmission in your vehicle. It's fun to drive. There's no, like, sport mode, off mode, your track mode, nothing like that. Just full on, anytime you want to go, just go. There's no flappy paddle shifters, nothing like that. And I, yes, I still do like the traditional uh, shifter, okay? So. All right. Another day of the Tacoma pumped I know it only can might only take a not supposed to put 9 in 1 in the Tacoma but it is a high compression engine so I run 91's it runs a lot better for some reason the engine runs a lot stronger too with 91 believe it or not so how is living with a Tacoma Living with a Tacoma is just fine. There's no problem with it. Cause I live more on a countryside type of, you know, scenery or setup. So living with Tacoma is perfect. It's, it feels at home out here in the back roads, okay? But if you're in the city life, Tacoma sometimes will feel a little bit. Uh, it's like driving like a suburban or driving something. Some of you know, those full-size cars, even maybe sometimes, it's a little on the big side because there's a lot of there's a lot of tiny parking spots, and the Tacoma has a lot of blind spots, especially my truck since I put a cap on there. Uh, but if you don't have a cap, it's actually not bad. It's just it's actually pretty uh, pretty good. Okay, so the transmission, the first 200 miles of the, on the transmission, uh, it's horrible. Okay, let's just say that I come from a Honda. So, Hondas have great transmissions. It's just, they're just good. Toyota transmissions are iffy sometimes. And I got one of those iffy ones. So, I decided to just run it for a while and see how it does. And I think after it's broken in, it's a lot better. What I mean by it acting weird is they shift real hard. It seems like it slams into gear. As that's just not cool. <laughs> it really isn't. Once you break it in, it's actually it's actually not bad. Uh, it's still not as sweet as a Honda transmission. 
I guess for a truck transmission also, it's pretty good. It's, it is still clunky. Don't get me wrong. It's still clunky. Though. There is a lot of like dry train slop, I guess you'd call it. And I wouldn't say I'm happy with it, but it's livable. So we'll keep it at that. Full drive system is uh, is another battle in itself. Uh, sometimes you can switch it and it'll go. Sometimes it won't. And no one's able to tell me that and tell me why. Uh, sometimes you switch it to full-wheel drive and just keep beeping and it never engages and sometimes it will and it won't disengage and like I said I don't know how <laughs> I guess there's a mechanical pin that gets locked in but I don't know. the wheels have to spin a little bit sometimes the wheels spin a little and they engage already sometimes it feels like I have to travel 10 feet before it engages so I'm always on the fence on that so I guess it's a uh, I guess if you're going to get into a situation where you know you might need the four-wheel drive, then just might as well just, just, just engage it and go. Because if you wait, I guess, that the guess that's the logic we're talking about Toyota, is if you wait until you get stuck, then you're shit out of luck. I like the overall look of the truck. The truck looks really good. It's well designed. It's really up to date, you can say. Except for the in-tune audio, that thing is completely out of date. But everything else is up to date. The stereo, at f no, the, the, the steering wheel, at first, I was on the fence with because it's been the, it's an old steering wheel. They needed a new one, pretty much. And I was on the fence with it, but, you know, living with it for a while, it's not bad. It does need some help. The two vertical lines on the steering wheel, I don't like. I don't like the sharp edges on that. Uh, everything needs to be smooth. So Toyota has a steering wheel that's got smooth edges mostly, but the, the two pieces where I put my fingers on the most are not smooth. Uh, so that's my critique on the steering wheel. The control on the left is okay. That's good to go. The controls in the center console is okay. That's good to go. I have no problems with that. That, that looks good to me. Although I would like to have like an, a, an additional cigarette lighter plug because right now everything literally runs off of one and it's and it's not that good you know so how does the Tacoma do in traffic and things like that it does it does pretty good I mean, uh, it's small enough to kind of still dodge stuff you do have some blind spots you gotta watch out for but overall I think it's still I think it's still pretty good Think you have to worry too much about you know tight tight parking spots anything like that it'll still make it in there uh, it's still quiet enough and it is a quiet car so you can have a real nice easy drive that's another thing too about the Tacoma uh, that I like about the Tacoma the transmission is a little clunky I know I've said that a couple times but transmission needs to be a little bit more quieter put it that way and I think the Toyota is gonna have a winner they already have a winner on their hands but if they want to remain king for life that's what they're gonna have to do um, but that's Tacoma uh, let's see so we'll see what we can do driving in Tacoma uh, well, let me know in the comments if you guys want to know anything specific about the Tacoma anything at all because I, I feel like I got a lot of knowledge about the truck and I just don't think I have everything like lurked out in this video so uh, 
Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything. Uh, mileage and things like that. Yeah, I tend to do, in terms of mileage, right? Um, you are going to hate your Tacoma for its mileage because it is not very good. Um, I think Toyota says it'll do 21 highway and I think like 18 on the streets, but that's only true if you're actually doing less than 55 miles an hour. Anything higher than that and you'll see it drop like 25%. And I know some people are gonna say it's because of my big tires, but I'll tell you what, it's not because of my big tires because, because I never got those mileages when I had the OEM tires. So it's not the true story. Definitely not the true story. There's a lot of trick or treaters going trick or treating tonight. It's Halloween. But yeah. Tacoma looks good. And plus the color too. It's a desert tan color, so it's not like it's uh jumpy, you know, it's just it just blends in very well. And that's what I wanted. More blendy color. That's the other thing I keep on mentioning, but it's real quiet compared to the Gen 2. It just feels, uh, it feels much more refined. Uh, definitely more refined. So after, you know, after a year of buying it, do I have any regrets? Uh, no, I wouldn't say so. I mean, I enjoyed driving it, so I had an idea of what it was going to be, and then when I bought it, it was exactly what it was. Um, I, had a, I had an idea the engine was going to be a little weaker than normal. And what do you know? It is a little weaker than normal. So, uh, for people that... I, well, I would encourage you to go drive both models. If you have any doubts or anything like that. But I like going through the gears, man. It's one of those things for me. Um, I really like the manual. Go test drive the manual, too, if you've never test driven the manual before. If you're second-guessing the manual... Uh, I think you're going to be disappointed in the automatic. Most of the people that uh, buy the automatic, uh, they actually, from the reviews, I've, you know, I listen to reviews too. So, uh, a lot of people that buy the automatics, they're pretty disappointed just because the the transmission hunts for gears a lot. Hunting for gears is not a good thing because it, it makes it. It's like the. It's basically like the transmission is undecided on what gear it wants to use. So it just keeps downshifting and upshifting and downshifting. Whereas if, if you're in a manual, you can probably just hold it on the lower gear and you'll just, you'll just be just fine. So there's a lot of that going around. There is some aftermarket performance uh, options for it that may or may not help you. But... Oh, the other thing is, as soon as you buy a taco, you start noticing tacos everywhere. And yes, we call our trucks tacos. Taco Tuesday! Look, another, look, another TRD right there. <laughs> and yes, you notice that there's a lot of tacos. But anyways, uh, that's all I got for this review. Let me know if you guys have any questions on anything. Let me know if you guys uh, want me to do something with a truck. So the thing for the truck is, I'm actually thinking about building a bed in the back so I can do some camping out of it. And and uh, let me know if you guys want to see something like that because all you will, I'm on the fence right now. I'll probably definitely build it next year, but if everybody wants to see my approach to it, I'll build it this year. Um, I have a lot of ideas on how to do like battery backup systems and lights and things like that yeah, I don't that I don't think a lot of companies do or at least a lot of the builds currently have so uh, I think it'd be interesting to see maybe what I can put together you know I do a lot of fishing so of course it's gonna be focused towards fishing a lot of rod storage stuff so 
So let me know any half, like I said, let, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, let me know how I did in this video review. My first video review ever for a vehicle. And I'll see you, see you guys on the next one. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, but stop freeloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you guys on the next one.